A common effect that you'll see on television is the Pleasantville effect. This type of effect can be done quite easily directly within the Final Cut Pro software. To keep things simple, look for a dominant color in the video frame that contains a specific color. Keep in mind that brighter colors tend to work better than dull colors. Let's say I want to preserve the red color and leave everything else black and white. The first step is to duplicate the clip directly above itself. Hold down the Option plus Shift keys and drag the clip up a layer. If you don't have a Video 2 layer yet, Final Cut Pro will automatically create the new layer for you. Double click on the bottom layer. This loads that particular clip into the viewer window. Anytime you see sprocket holes in the viewer window, this means you'll be affecting a specific clip from within the timeline. You'll make this layer black and white. Navigate to the Effects menu and select Video Filters, Image Control, Desaturate. This will make the bottom layer black and white. If you turn off the visibility for Video Track 2, you'll see that you have a full color clip on top of the same black and white clip. Double click on the clip that's on V2. This will load it into the viewer. Navigate to the Effects menu and select Video Filters, Key, Chroma Keyer. This will add a Chroma Key filter to the top clip. Click on the Chroma Keyer tab at the top of the viewer window. Use this eyedropper to select a color that you'd like to preserve. For now, the Chroma Key filter is going to remove this particular color but later we'll invert the key to preserve this color. Turn off these blue checkboxes for saturation and luminance. We only want to select the color values. You may need to adjust these pins to expand the color range a bit until you've successfully eliminated the colors you've selected. After you're satisfied with the color selection, press the invert button. So the next question is, how do you select an additional color? You'll need another video layer to do this. Since both clips already have filters on them, copying the clip again would also copy the filters. Press the F key. This will match the clip that you are parked on with the original clip from the browser that doesn't contain any filters. You can drag this new copy down to the timeline and put it onto V3. Or in my case, I'm going to patch V1 to V2, then drag the clip in the viewer to the superimpose button in the canvas window. Double click on V3 which will load this clip into the viewer window. Once again if you turn off the visibility for V3 you'll see it's a full color clip over your last composite. Now we'll start the process over again. Navigate to the effects menu and select video filters, key, chroma key. -er. This will add the chroma key filter to the clip on V3. This time I'll use the eyedropper to pick a different color from the previous one. In this case I'll pick yellow. Again, remember to deselect the range for saturation and luminance. Then remember to invert the key. Now occasionally you'll run into a problem where there are multiple elements in the frame that contain the same color. For example, let's say I want to eliminate this yellow strip that matches the same yellow on the sail. You can simply turn on the image plus wireframe mode in the canvas window and crop out the area that you do not want. The crop tool is down towards the bottom of your tool palette. You can also press the C key to activate it. Beyond this, you could also create a series of masks or keyframe your crop controls. I urge you to visit the Genius DV website for additional tutorials or assistance on how to accomplish that. But at least for now, you should have the basics for creating the Pleasantville effect.